Hello everyone and welcome to the 121st episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Like last week, I'll be jumping onto the Infancia Discord server challenge and this week's theme is living room. Do you know what? I've got a head start here because a couple of weeks ago, no, I lied, a couple of, of months ago, time flies so fast, I actually created a lot of uh, interior furniture stuff. It looks just like an uh, I see a IKEA warehouse. So I've got a head start, but I also know that making a lot of items in a short period of time is difficult. That obviously makes it difficult. Like a full room in 10 minutes. It's going to be an interesting challenge, but I'll take it. Do you know what? I might actually spend some time in the tinkering time. In case it looks hideous, I need to polish that thumbnail up because I don't want to scare people away. So if you're lucky, I'll fail pretty good and uh, we'll do some tinkering in the bonus. How about that. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Let's get modeling. Ready? Steady? Go. We're off. Yep, just making sure it's counting. Tab into edit mode, slide it down to there. Eight, select everything. Scale shift Z, not on the Z axis, and two. It's going to be a small living room. <laughs> G to move this one to like a dark brown floor, and we'll do some walls here. Control R, so we'll cut a little bit off this wall, we'll make them thin, and here we go. E to extrude, two point three meters maybe something like that and then we'll do like an off-white wall there that'll do Control r loop cut and scale z a little bit taller maybe and we're gonna get windows here Control r that's gonna be our window shift select these two right click bridge faces super good and now we're gonna put a radiator shift d to duplicate that one e to extrude and the simplest radiator in the world by the window by the way because i think it creates like a heat uh, barricade or something <laughs> i don't know i have no idea what i'm talking about all right now i'm gonna make a rug so shift d to duplicate this one scale on the x-axis scale on the y-axis and scale on the x again maybe a little bit bigger move it move it up and let's just make a pattern on this one as well Control r loop cut a bunch of them Control selector there, scale them down, and I did this a uh, little bit in my interior pack so I can do something similar. Scale, maybe something like this. I'll select the length and just make a green rug. Pale green there, and then these will make stand out a little bit. Okay, I did them. I did an extra one, never mind. <laughs> I should have counted the loop cuts, never mind. There we go. That's our little designer rug there. And then, uh, should we do this one darker? No, we shouldn't. All right, never mind. Okay, uh, IKEA furniture here, maybe. Shift D to duplicate and G Z 0.1, so 10 centimeters off the floor. I'm not going to get the proportions right, but I roughly remember what size they should be. Roughly, E to extrude 0.3, 30 centimeters. L to select linked and like flat pack IKEA. It is. Uh, I need to see what I'm doing here. So let's grip, bring that to a wide control R loop cut. Shift to like this. I to inset I again for individual and E to extrude these down and these will do shift D to duplicate them move it in slightly scale x and e to extrude what's our little shelves there tv shift D to duplicate that's the thing we like to do <laughs> e to extrude l select linked and black some like there that'll do ah, that'll do i say that so many times so that'll do <laughs> e to extrude and a big like 77 inch here so we have to model less things in the room smart huh 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 scale y and maybe i, I have no idea how, how many inches this is but should be big enough anyway and then let's do this trick now where we do like make it okay so i to inset e to extrude and i'm gonna make it like emissive blue here so it shines up the room bright uh, there we go and oh we need feet on these things so player uh, shift D to dupl oh, no. shift D to duplicate scale alt Z so I can see through and scale it down it makes like square IKEA feet here as well and I think I've got uh, vertex snapping so I should be able to hold the control key yeah E to extrude control key there and alt select the link let's get some like brownish feet here and top view shift D duplicate it oh it's windy outside interesting I'm doing this in the daytime sweet there we go. And I'll be able to use this for the couch as well. Alt said so. And a couch. We need a couch. Shift it to duplicate this one. I don't know about the size now, but it, I don't care. <laughs> I can rescale it after. E to extrude. Maybe t uh, 30 centimeters. 0.3. That should do. Control R. And here we'll do. I'll just do shift select these. Okay, if we did not the wall. Alt E to extrude long phase normals. Grab the, a three seater in this little room. Well, well, never mind. It should work anyway. L to select the link. Let's make a dark blue couch. Get some contrast here. Very dark, but pale. There we go. 
and move this back and extrude these. That's some skinny armrests, but well, it's okay. That's the design, I guess. E to extrude, something like this. And then let's just bring this up a little bit further. E to extrude, scale, bah, X, move it back to there. And should we round these off a little bit too? Oh, that, this is a big couch here. Well, less things to model, so let's get some cushions here. I to inset, we already have individual. Alt S to scale. Let's like do a fake shade here. I'll Alt Shift select there and make them like darker. And it looks a bit like <laughs> some weirdo stuff. Oh, well, never mind. All right, let's grab that. Okay, let's grab this leg. Alt select linked and Alt Z and Shift D to duplicate this one. Scale Shift Z because I don't want to scale it on that. Shift D and else select the linked shift it to duplicate this one move it down there and we need a table now as well how am i doing four feet half the time's already gone how is that even possible i knew it it's gonna go fast gz 0.4 so i think that's a decent height scale uh, y e to extrude else select linked i'm gonna make this one shiny it's got, we've got these metal surfaces down here they're a bit far to pan though but never mind and I'll do a, a leg here as well, so shifty. I can't really use the other legs because they'll be too small. So Alt Z, see through, and hold the control key, snap it to that vertex. Uh, actually, I'll snap it down to this one. E to extrude to that. Ah, oh, come on. E to extrude, snap it, control key to that vertex. Alt select the link, top view, G to move it, shifty. I'm gonna wing it a little bit with the positioning here. <laughs> So it's not perfect, but it's okay. And then we'll grab it to there. That's those legs are super thick. But let's make a design of it like that. And I'll do like a double tiered cake here. So I've only got three minutes to go. So scale that down to there. Let's put a little tablecloth here. So E to extrude. Else select the link. I'll just put. Uh, well, that can't be shiny, can it? So pale like red i'll put some candles on here because this is what i did for my tiering pack to subdivide circle scale it down and let's keep it a little bit like this and uh, x and then limited dissolve it inset e to extrude and con let's do l select link shift to do that on red candle and then shift e to duplicate that one got a thick wick here <laughs> g that's gonna be okay l l and then make copies because we don't have to make a lot of Time to make a lot of stuff here. A little smaller there, and shift it to duplicate it. Three candles. Uh, that's it. And uh, okay, curtains or something. Three minutes to go. So we'll just do shift D to duplicate that on scale Z axis. Scale, scale Z again. E to extrude. Else select the link. Let's just get a gray there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then we'll shift D to duplicate that on scale it. Scale on the Y. Bring it in, and. Control R for loop cut. Let me split this curtain. There we go. Delete this one. Face. And E to extrude it down. And it's okay, the radiator, I'll have to make it thinner. That's it. <laughs> I'll select the link. Let's just make red curtains here as well. Save some time. All right, a shelf maybe two minutes to go. Shift E to duplicate. Speakers we need as well. I don't know why you'd put a shelf over the TV, but E to extrude, IKEA shelf again. Let's go get a speaker here. Scale, move it in, scale, scale Y. I'm feeling stressed now. Ah, I'll select big speakers because then we don't have to model as much. <laughs> so all the tricks in the book here. And then we'll do, uh, I'll do control R to loop cut that on. Get, oh, get a little air intake here. here. E to extrude, what's going on here? E to extrude and shift E to duplicate. We'll need speaker elements, subdivide, circle, scale it down. I am recording it. <laughs> So there we go. E to extrude. Items that these are going to be a bit bulky. I again because we're on individual. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. And control plus a few times. Bring it up to like a white. And then just do a dark here again. There. And then else like the link. Shift D to duplicate. Scale shift Z because. Oh no. Shift X. We don't want to scale it on that. Okay. I'll do one more time. Scale shift X. And here is our speaker. <laughs> All right, big speakers here. You don't have you have sound bars these days, don't you? Ooh, one minute. Uh, so oh my god. All right, rotate, shift D to duplicate, rotate, and here we go. Should we put shift D to duplicate, E to extrude? We'll put a little like a uh, box here as well. Some I don't know something. And uh, should we do like uh, I'll do a book here 
because I can duplicate that. Shift E to duplicate, scale Y, scale, scale Y, E to extrude, that's a big book, never mind, and make it orange or something. Alt Z so I can see through L, select linked, 40 seconds. I should be able to at least make a little book here. Well, I to inset, Alt E to extrude along face normals, and okay, Alt E to extrude along face normals. Hold the Alt key for symmetrical, move that to there, Alt select the linked, okay, Alt select the linked, I said. <laughs> So let's just do Shift D to duplicate on the Y axis. One, two, three, four, five. A bunch of books here. <laughs> All symmetrical. Looks hideous. <laughs> Probably. Rotate X. This one's tilting a little bit. And L select the link. Scale Z. Z up. Seven seconds to go. Okay, that's a darker red book. L, L. And here's green books. Ah! <laughs> All right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. There. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I didn't get a tremendous amount done. Well, we got a couch, a table, floor mat, IKEA furniture, TV, speakers, some books, very symmetrical, very low poly. <laughs> and we got uh, a curtain. I think we'll spend a little bit of bonus time now as well and just like see what we can do with it. How, how many, should I add 10 minutes to it? Yeah, let's see what another 10 minutes can do to this room. So <laughs> let's get started. Ready, steady, go. Here we go. Uh, so I'm gonna start by block selecting these. Actually, I'll just alt select here and put a little uh, like a blue tint to this room, maybe like this. Oh, another 10 minutes on the clock here, that's too dark. There we go. And now I can probably like rectify these books a little bit. So scale this one. Okay, I'll select link, scale this one down and just change some colors here. Dark green, I'll select the link, scale down, scale Z and here we go. Uh, blue book there. Got a couple of black books here probably or dark red. I'll select link, scale Z. Okay, that probably looks a little bit better. And then we'll put a light here, Shift D to duplicate. So, got that one there. Right click, subdivide, circle, scale it down. And I've done some interior lights recently. So, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, all the way down there, E to extrude, and E to extrude, S to scale, and E to extrude, and X to limited dissolve, I to inset, E to extrude, that quite big at the top here. Maybe I'll just do Alt or scale it down and Shift Z. There we go. Control R, loop cut that on, scale Z. And here I'm just going to put it on an emissive orange. So we'll have like a light effect there. And this should probably not be wood, especially not the same as the floor. So I'll just move this onto a chrome down here. Mel. And a light at the top here as well. And we'll have to scroll it back up to here. So there. Uh, Alt select the link and G to move it and Shift E to duplicate it there. And I have to move the speaker in a little bit now. There we go. Move it to there. All right, so I'll put a book on the table here as well. So I'll grab this blue book, Shift E to duplicate it and uh, rotate X 90. I don't know, I think I duplicated it at the same time. <laughs> Shift E to duplicate it, rotate X 90 and hold the control key. And we've got some action going on in the kitchen, I can hear. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, G to move that on there. Hopefully it's a coffee or something. Rotate Z, scale, move it down to there. A book. Should we do a remote? No, that takes too long. But I can do, ooh, this is going through the top there. I'll put a little knob on here. So right click, subdivide, circle, scale it down. Instead of adding a cylinder, that's a lot faster. Limited dissolve, E to extrude. I'll select, oh no, I'll do some square buttons here. Oh no, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna do an inset and scale Y and extrude. And then I'm gonna put a blinking light here because I've got this uh, blinking light feature here. So E to extrude, I'll select the link. That's when we animate it later, but I'm gonna move it on to all the way over here. I don't do this very often. So let's put it on to there. Cause now when I press play, that blinks a little bit. So that could be fun. I should, okay, 6.53. Uh, I, I, I think I've got most things. We could probably play around a little bit with the lights now. So let's put a like shift right click, shift A, do a light. I'm going to put an area light here as well. Not as well, because it's the first time. Rotate X. No, Y. That's it. 
scale Y, move it in and change it to like a, I don't know, 300 and then put it onto like a blue. And then I think I'm going to do like a, a ceiling light too. So rotate, should have done this before X, no, Y, 90, negative, minus. I switched between Swedish and Australian keyboard here, so I'm getting confused on the keyboard shortcuts. The scale X is just to get a little bit of like different lights. I don't know if I like that. 100. No, I don't like that, but it's okay. I'll leave it anyway. Uh, let's do shift, right, click here, and do like a point light. Move it in. I, I'm faking these just to get a little bit of interesting stuff going here. So maybe 200. Okay, that doesn't work so well. Uh, should I change this to an area light too? No, I'll just, uh, I think I'll, I'll just keep it like that. I know this is like baked a bit, uh, but I think it should be all right. Actually, I'll, do, I'll switch it to rendered here. And uh, this one, I think I'll make a little bit stronger. It shouldn't be blue anyway, but more of an, a yellow, maybe 200 now. There, okay, so five minutes to go. I'll put some more stuff here. I'll duplicate this one. L, L, shifty, just to make a copy of it. <laughs> And these are going to blink in sync, so let's just take that light away. Vertex. And I could put a pot here as well, maybe, and a plant. Should we put something else on the shelf? What should be on the shelf here? So I'll do a shift D to duplicate. I'll put a pot here. Scale, a right click, subdivide, circle. Scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Uh, actually, I'll just switch back to Material Preview for now, so we get that less flickering. X to delete this one, Limited Dissolve, and I to Inset, E to Extrude, and let's put it on a brown here. And then L to select the linked, and this one I'll just put like a pot color <laughs> thing. It's gonna be a bit tall, maybe I should lower this whole thing. L, 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 L bring it down to there so I can fit something here scale it down move it down and here I so it's gonna be tricky to make like a plant maybe I'll do E to extrude as the scale I to inset E to extrude as the scale okay I'll just do something something uh, green <laughs> maybe like that and then Checker, deselect, alt E to extrude long face normals, so scale it down. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but E to extrude. And rotate Z, scale it. <laughs> Alright, so what is this? E to extrude as the scale, it's something. Alright, let's just do proportional editing. Well, this is what my plants look like in the end anyway, they just die. <laughs> I cannot take care of plants anyway. G, E to extrude, ah, uh, rotate, G, what is this hideous thing? All right, it's gonna be something anyway, that's it, <laughs> it's something. All right, let's put a little, uh, t t like a table on the side here, should we? Shift E to duplicate that one, G, how am I doing? 252, scale Y, scale it up, and G, Z, 0 0.4, 40 centimeters off the floor. Maybe like this. I'll select the linked and a brighter color. Maybe? Yeah. Shift E to duplicate. I'll just make some skinny legs here as well. Scale it down. And here we go. Hold the control key, snap it to there. I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm nervous now because I tend to like not record sometimes. Alt Z. G. Shift E to duplicate it. X axis lock. If I could hit the X button. L, Shift D to duplicate that on, and I think I'll put another tier on here as well. So let's uh, Shift D to duplicate that on. Okay, very boxy. Uh, should we put another book there? Of course. I don't really read much. Well, let's put a book there as well. Ro okay. Rotate Z, move it. A black book. Scale it up. There we go. Or a dark blue book or some sort. Okay, uh, there we go for there. Um, should we? Okay, so let's make it simple. Let's put 
like just fill it up with uh, another table on the other side here. Uh, shift D to duplicate this one, move it to there. It just sort of fits, but it doesn't because the curtain is in the way. So how do we do that? We don't. Okay, we leave it there. Uh, one minute. And I'm running out of things to model here now. Should we... Uh, let's put another candle up here. So let's decorate. Hold the control key. Okay, that didn't work because... I'll have to wing it a little bit there. And move that into there. Should that be instead of red? Let's make a blue candle. And make it bigger. Scale. Okay, I, I will put a remote here as well. I've got 50 seconds to do it. So shifty to duplicate, scale. It can be super simple. So, E to extrude. That's pretty simple. <laughs> Control R. Control R. And probably not the most efficient way to do a remote. Let's put like a knob here as well. Shift D to duplicate that on. Circle, scale. I don't know what like thing has a knob, but they usually have the, these control pads anyway. So shift select, I to inset, I again, and E to extrude. <laughs> That's a weirdo remote, but never mind. Maybe just slight different color. Wait, okay, this is uh, too shiny. So G, move it up to here. Six seconds. That's it. But. Let's switch over to rendered here and toggle this off. All right, folks, there we have it. <laughs> so we did a 10 minute modeling room. We sort of stuck to the rules there and then I spent another 10 minutes to decorate it. Well, you can't just build a room. You need to decorate it too, right? So I think that like technically that just squeezes into the 10 minute modeling challenge. So it's a 10 minute modeling challenge and 10 minute decorative cap challenge. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Plus the thumbnail will look slightly better if I actually put this one on. So let's do a little uh, walk, like a, a dirty trick there. <laughs> How about that? How many times do you get to cheat before it counts as cheating? Oh, once. Once. <laughs> All right, folks, hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And come back for episode 122. That's going to be dropping next Thursday. Before that, you can actually probably catch another video because who knows? I've been releasing them a little bit more frequently now. So until next one, have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye for now.